What's up, YouTube? Not the front of the bus. Because <laughs> uh, just another little project. Um, the blower fans for the defroster and the main heater on the last trip that when we were out, when we were going over the big mountain and the bus started getting hot, I chose to turn on the heaters um, and that's one way you can help your bus to cool off. In fact, it's almost an instant response is to turn on the heater. So I turned on the main cabin heater and then I thought, oh, I'll turn the defroster on too. And that blower kind of squalled like nasty, you know. So when I went through this the first time, I questioned the guys over there at the bus parts about the fans and they said, nah, they're okay. So now I should have just followed my instincts and replaced them right then. Anyhow, I didn't. So now I've had to pull them back out and great opportunity I can show you if you didn't see that video, what the heater core on your bus looks like or on, on my bus looks like. So let me show you where I'm at there. So here is the blowers that I pulled out. So when I went to pick up the, the new fan, she asked me if I wanted one or two and in my memory, I thought, well, there's the two were hooked together. Why would I want two? And now when I pulled them out, I'm like, oh yeah. So I started the job with one and just ran over and grabbed another one because I'm not gonna put an old one back in there and have it fail again later. So this is where they go which on these buses, it's really cool how that front cowling opens up. And this this will swing open too. And you can get to this heater core, which just has this simple plate over it that covers it on the front. And it just opens up to that. And right there is where those fans slide in. And they just plug into those plug-ins and you put the metal cover back on and you're good to go. So, now I've got enough parts. There is one thing though, it's hard to get your hand in there to plug in the cords and you will, these, this heater core even as chewed up as it looks here, it's not bad, it was all smashed up when I got it and the guy straightened it out. So, when I go to reach in there to plug those cords in, I'll put this uh, cardboard to protect, protect those, uh, the fans on the heater core. So hopefully I can get this all back in there today. Okay guys, I got this guy ready to go back in there. So there's a plug in the back to plug into. Actually. Hey babe. Can you come and help me for a minute? Oh, that one ain't gonna go in. Yeah, this front one's the one that's hard to plug in. I need you to hold this up like that so I can plug this in. You gotta get close. This is the only hard part about this job, is reaching the doggone plug-ins. Uh, hard to snap. Yeah, so that's that one. Master mechanic on the child now. Yeah, I got my hands in there, but can you reach your hand? It's where it needs to go. If you can reach behind and then grab it from the back and push on the front. Okay, I've got the back. Then push on the front with your thumb. 
Okay, he's going in with the big guys, you guys. I can, well, I can hook behind the other one in there with this thing. Uh -huh. I hope. I just don't know if I should grab that and spring it open. Let's try it that way first. It's really an awkward spot to have to get into. We're holding our breath in too. <laughs> And now we both want it to go click, but... Oh, we heard a click. That's it. All right. So that there, that's the tool. Just go see Chris. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Awesome. Okay, so we pulled the paper out, the cardboard, and he's gonna go inside and fire her up. We'll see if it works. Okay, so I got that all put back together. And the other thing I didn't talk about is underneath this little strap here, there's a little uh, filter that pre-filters that air that gets sucked through there. So that's been replaced too. But uh, the other thing on the last trip we took, I kept hearing a clunk with the wiper when it started raining. I heard this thunk, thunk, thunk. So I wetted the windshield with window cleaner and had her turn on the wipers. and. It was clipping this screw, or that screw, or both of them. There's a mark there and a mark there. So. Where are the marks? Right yeah. there, it was hitting, and right there, it was hitting. All right. Here's the test, YouTube. Let's wet this down. Turn them on, baby. Run, let them run a little bit. We're golden. I'm not hearing no more click, click. All right, you can turn them off. Okay, YouTube, that job is done. <laughs> Those were too little. Well, the fan wasn't really a little thing when, when it was making the squally noise. That would have been quite annoying to listen to when the defroster was running. And uh, that wiper blade clipping the end of that screw was just, was just barely clipping it, but uh, couldn't figure out what that was, but since I, when I changed those lights, those screws were longer, so that was an easy fix. So I'm super happy. I think I, I actually set out to get this all done this morning when it was nice and in the shade on this side, and the day kind of got away from me. But I got it done, it works. I got some other stuff that were problems, I'll put it in different videos. Don't want to put all the drama in one video right so anyhow i hope you guys have some little projects that you can finish off and things you can get off your plate have an awesome day and i hope you have lots of love in your life catch you next time <laughs>